Hey there, I'm Roger or the 4K King. Thank you for joining me on another video. If you're watching, that's because you have a bunch of Blu-rays, DVDs, and you want them on your mobile device, Voodoo account, or maybe your TV. And this is the how-to guide for 2024. So let me tell you how you can get your movies from disc to digital. So obviously on my page, I'm a huge advocate for physical media, but I also love digital media because it's super convenient. And I have a movie here, Clerks 2. I'm going on vacation at some point this year, and I'm definitely going to want to watch this on the car trip. So why don't I get a digital copy with Voodoo Disc to Digital? So the basic run through is you have your movie, you scan the barcode found on the back, and for either two or five dollars, you can get it digitally on your Voodoo account. Now, if you have a DVD like me and you want to scan it in for two dollars, it will be in DVD quality. But if you want it in Blu-ray quality, even though you're scanning the DVD, you can pay five dollars and get it in HDX. Okay, so now that I've kind of explained how disc to digital works, let me talk about some of the things that you need to know before getting into it. Number one, a lot of the Disney and 20th Century Fox titles will not work. And when I say a lot, I mean pretty much all of them. So no, if you have younger ones and you want Disney movies on your Voodoo account, it's not going to happen. Uh, but a lot of Universal, Paramount, Lionsgate, and Warner Brothers seems to be what's really prevalent on their website as well as some Sony also, you need to keep in mind, you can only spend up to $200 a year with the Voodoo Disc to Digital Service, meaning you can only scan up to 100 titles if you're doing $2 conversions. Now, Voodoo Disc to Digital is honestly a great service. I use up my 100 titles per year pretty quickly, and I usually do that uh, within August. Usually, I end up using them, uh, but... I really love having my disc, uh, is, you know, but I also love having my digital copies. So why don't we go ahead, if you're using an Android, it will be a little different, but not entirely. If you're using an Android, you're going to do the same steps, except instead of going onto the mobile browser, you're going to be doing it through the Voodoo app as it's much easier. Okay, so I'm on my mobile device. This is an iPhone. So I'm going to be going to the browser on Safari or Google. If you're on Android, please go straight to the Voodoo app as it's much easier. Okay, so on my Apple device, I'm going to go ahead and go to Google and you're going to want to make sure you're signed into Voodoo. Once you're signed in, you're going to go all the way down to my movies and select disc to digital. Once you've selected that, it should take you to a screen that presents your options of $2 to $5. You don't have to click anything, just scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so now's the fun part. You're going to take all the movies you wish to convert, and you're simply going to scan the barcode. Okay, cool. So we got the barcode. It may take a minute to load. Okay, so once it's loaded, you're going to be presented with the options. So it might ask if you already own it in SD. It might ask if you want HD. Or if you don't own it, it will ask if you want it in SD or HD. Boom, you've checked out and now you have your movie from disc to digital. It's super convenient. It's super fast. This isn't sponsored. I'm just a consumer and I want to let you guys know how you can use it. Now, it is in my Voodoo account. Why don't we go ahead and go take a look at my computer and I will show you guys that it is in my account. Okay, so we are currently on my Voodoo account and since I already owned it, it isn't going to come through as a recent purchase, obviously, but I will show you guys that I did redeem it quite some time ago. It ain't been that long, but it's right here. We have Clerks 2 HDX, meaning it cost me $5, and I now own Clerks 2. I can watch it digitally. Now, I would like you to keep in mind, when I say own, I mean I own the license to watch it on my Voodoo account. Uh, the big thing with physical media and digital media is you don't actually own this. It's more like a long-term rental. So just understand that if you're going to pour money into this. Um, I obviously understand that, that there's a chance they delete all 2,477 movies I own. Uh, but 
not that I think that's something that's going to happen, uh, but it's it's entirely possible. So please be aware. But yeah, so that's how you can build your Voodoo Dis Digital Collection or Voodoo Collection in general. As you can see, I do have quite a few movies on here, uh, some newer titles, but I enjoy having these available to me. It's a very, very good program, and uh, I definitely recommend it if you are interested in owning your movies digitally as well as physically. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Leave any comments you have. I will try and answer everything i noticed we were getting comments on a one and a half year old video about this so i figured we'd do a 2024 revision and uh just kind of chat about it once again so please leave your comments questions down below keep in mind i don't work for voodoo so i can't help you with any technical uh you know issues that you might be having behind the scenes uh but one thing i will say that a lot of people seem to be having issues with is the billing address you want to make sure that when you accept all the agreements and you turn everything on that you actually have a billing address that matches your location that way they know you're not at walmart scanning the back of dvds so yeah that is the guide for 2024 Thank you for watching. We will see you guys next time.